that did not draw out because I thought the back of the book probably had it drawn out, correct? Yeah. And I have really looked today. That's good, and you should. You should use all the resources you have to make sure you know what the heck you're doing. Okay? On number 10, we're going to smoke through that verbally. Okay, one, two, three, four. River's gone. And Brooke. And Brooke. Where's Brooke at? I saw her earlier. She didn't stop the Here we go, number 10. I'm going to describe what's going on. Now, the order makes a difference. You kind of have to start at the inside and work your way out. It's kind of logical once you start seeing it, okay? Um, so like this one, hopefully you understand why on number 10, I just had you describe these. You've already shown me you can graph one of them, okay? Hey, what? Right, right five, good. Next one, there's two things. What's the first thing you do? Flip, Flip it which way? Across the Vertically. Yeah. Vertical flip then? Up, up. up three. C. Third is tall. Third is tall. Okay, now. Granted, you could memorize, that's my Y, let's multiply my Y by a third, but what I want you to really be thinking is, don't turn this into a numbers game, leave it as a theory game. Everything's third is tall. Okay? First one, D, you're going to do the inside, what's this do? Left one, Left one and then the outside flips it, flips it. Flips it vertically. Okay. Next one. Woo. Change the sign of X. Yeah, change the sign of X or visually, what's it do? Flips everything horizontal. Horizontal flip. Okay. Next one. I'll just do this. Down ten. G. Stretch. Which way? Vertically or horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal. It stretches everything like three. Okay. And then H, first thing it's going to do is twice as tall, move it down to it. Okay, so it's going to go. Ah! Okay. Am I recording? Yes. All right, I love it when I get those noises on. On uh, that's why I get those the high number of views I do. I went to monetize last night, monetize my YouTube account, but I can't do that through a school account. But now, like I would make like what three cents anyway. <laughs> Three cents, three cents, that's true. What can I buy? Uh, anyway, nothing anymore. Okay, so, um, what did I have that I wanted to do tomorrow? Or today, I mean. Today you're going to come up with graphs for things like these. Okay? So you're going to have to identify the parent function and then do the appropriate things to it, okay? Like this one, obviously, has just been shifted down. This one, there's been a couple things happen to it. Okay, it was facing up, so now we gotta face it down, and now it's right here, so now what do I gotta do? I gotta sh shift it left and up, okay? So you need three things, a vertical flip, left and up. You should, after yesterday, know how to incorporate all those things, okay? So vertical flip, negative outside, move it left, I'm going to need a plus one inside, move it up, I need a plus one outside, okay? So that's what you're going to do on all of these. None of these that we're going to do today will have a vertical or horizontal stretch factor. It's flip, slide, slide. Flip, slide, slide. Okay? 13, absolute value function. Sorry. Okay? Square root function. Okay? I'm going to give you a little bit of a shortcut we can do, which hopefully you guys know this from... Whew, I'm sweating. We were tearing out concrete last period. Uh -huh. 
Sorry. I'll kick it up. I love it when all the black mold is still sitting right in there. That's good. Keeps us healthy by challenging our immune system. If I have y equals f of x um, okay. tell me what that's going to do left h and then up k okay so one thing you can do is you can think about if I would write this, uh, let's just write it so everything's to the right and up. My, my center point, or my critical point, is now HK. So, hopefully you guys know this from graphing parabolas before, okay? Let's say, for example, if I have this parabola, X minus 2 squared plus 3. What's my vertex of my parabola? Two, two, three. Because it's been moved right two, up three. Right two, up three. So if I have something like this, x plus three plus one, the vertex of that parabola would be negative three, because it moves to the left three and up one. So how is that going to be helpful? <laughs> This one right here is 4, negative 2. So now I need to write my function. What do I got to do to move it right 4? x minus 4. That's what moved it to the right 4. What do we have to do outside to move it down 2? Minus 2. So a lot of it is find that kind of critical point and then We'll go from there. Now, if I want to do something funky and say, let's make this go down instead. I need a negative somewhere. Do I need, need a negative inside or outside? Outside. Because outside changes make vertical changes. So we will, if I want to do the dotted one, I would just throw a negative on there. That means go down instead. But we'll go. I'm gonna go down instead, but I'm still my critical point is over four, down two. Okay? So that is large majority of what you're doing today. Um, and I'm gonna give you the rest of the time. And I might truncate the assignment based upon how much time you time you have and how much you know how far you get okay i encourage you get together with somebody else talk it out now i had originally 42 even but my guess is that's going to be truncated, but get together, talk about it. Seriously, slide it next to each other. Form a group of three. I don't care. What do we got going on tomorrow? Uh, yeah, quiz tomorrow, 1.3 to 1.5. Mm. And one thing that's nice, look over the examples. And right here, at the end of the chapter, look at this, dude. There's review problems. 1.3, there's review problems. This is where, as a student, you get to be independent and get ready to go. 1.3 to 1.5. Um... You know what? Let's do this. 
This is, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, stop. 22 through 42, so I just want a description only. You don't have to graph it, what do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, so all you have to do is describe it. And this whole thing, do Thursday. Thank you. So, because I'm not going to give you a new assignment tomorrow, and this is plenty for, you know, it's quite a bit. So now, right now, you can either choose to work on your assignment or talk about things on the quiz tomorrow. It's up to you. Up to you. Up to you. Up to you. So look through the examples.